what's up you guys today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial we're gonna be talking about some makeup products that I have here so I'm excited about this makeup tutorial you guys can see that my brows are already done I went ahead and did those off camera because I did not have a uh, product to test out today so that is already done we're gonna get diving right into this makeup tutorial but if you guys are new to my channel please make sure to hit that subscribe button my name is Steph and also if you guys are already subscribed you guys know the drill make sure all your notifications are turned on so let's get diving right into this okay I'm so pumped to play with this palette when it came in because I'd already seen so many reviews like a lot of people were reviewing it and comparing it to the Natasha Denona palette I'm excited to have my hands on it um, but this is totally my color scheme like I know this is more of like a fall palette but I'm still gonna play with it because it looks really bomb so sorry my bra's showing so we're gonna go ahead and get started I already primed my eyes with concealer it is tacky so I am gonna use a tacky base today what do you think I think I want to do a halo look let's take Juno and I'm gonna take this on a morphe 505 and I'm gonna start off on the outer corner Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This here is a Luxie 231, but I'm gonna take that same color and apply it on the inner corner. Just like that, really easy, lightweight. All right, sorry, I had to take a quick break and feed the kids and feed myself. So we're gonna move into Avalon and I'm gonna take that shade and I'm still using the same Luxie brush that I used for the inner corners. And I'm gonna use this brush to apply it on the outer corner and the inner corner to start making it darker. I'm actually really impressed with this eyeshadow palette. Like it's blending out so good. Usually it gets really patchy like on the inner corner because I do have some the wrinkles right there you know what I mean like it's usually a little bit more patchier on the inner corner especially right here and there is no patchiness whatsoever this one looks a little shoddy so follow this eye <laughs> so here are some of the shadows I was gonna put in the center so this is that green one that really dark green one art Artemis you got Pandora which is like a soft gold it's really, really pretty too. Valkyrie is the one that's right in the center, which is that green. It's got like a greenish yellow shift to it. All right, let me go ahead and prime my lids first. I think I wanna take the shade Valkyrie. I think that's what I wanna start with. So I'm gonna start with Valkyrie. Because this is a little bit chunky, I'm gonna have to use a little bit of a setting spray. I'm gonna pop that right in the center. I'm gonna go in with this Sigma Performance. This is the E56. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Aura. It's like a metallic brown. And I'm gonna use that on the outer corners, right where that green and that chocolate brown meet. I'm gonna put that right on the edges. That way when I go in with that chocolate brown, it has a nice like shift to it. And it doesn't look super patchy. We finished with the eye look. There's a little bit of fallout. Really the only fallout that it's from though is from the shimmer. So not really a whole lot. I mean, you could definitely do your makeup first, like your face makeup, and then do your eyeshadow after. The colors were really easy to work with. The shadows were really easy to work with. It was really, really easy to blend in this um, color into the shimmer. And you guys know sometimes when you do like a halo look or like a cut crease or anything, right along the edges, it can get really patchy. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of liner to my top lashes. So I have this Feline by Winky Lux. So this is a uh, by Winky Lux. It is the Feline um, Black Cat Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I do have a mascara from Topshop. This is their Intense Keyboard Mascara. Not really seeing a whole lot with it. I definitely feel like not a lot of product comes off on this thing. All right, so there's two coats and honestly it did nothing. So let's move into lashes. I'm gonna pop on some lashes and then we're gonna move into the face. I'm just gonna be taking my Dollar Lash Club lashes, which are these um, in the style Lexi. Primers, I do have two primers I can try out. I have this one by DHC, which I have used before. It's the Skin Velvet Coat. And then this one, which I'm not really sure what the brand is, but it's called the Beauty Filter Cream Glow. And it's supposed to be like perfect for underneath your makeup application. So. That's what it looks like. Oh, why does it smell like an old lady? This better not break me out. It's got a really strong fragrance to it. 
I do not have a foundation to apply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on a foundation really quick and concealer and then we will come, oh wait, no, 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 I do, I do, I do. The Dragon Beauty. So this I actually got sent. I was really surprised that they sent it to me, to be honest with you. I was like, wait, what? I think you sent it to the wrong person. <laughs> so I was really excited to try this out. I've used this once and I did an IG tutorial. I figured that we would do it together today again because I wanted you guys to see it because I really think it works really well. Now this one you're supposed to be able to use as like, basically like you can color correct everything on your face. So I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath my eyes and then a little bit right here and above my lip. I'm just gonna take a little brush. This one is the um, dual ended it cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna take the little concealer portion and blend it out. And trust me, the last time I did this, I had so much. Like I mean like I had like three lines on each face and I was like, oh no, what did I do? I don't have a new foundation to try out, so I'm just gonna go in with the bare minerals. Love that stuff. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe E6. I do find that you can definitely use a beauty blender on top of this, but I find because it's so orange, you do need to get a little bit of a good coverage with this. But you guys can just see how well it covers up. Look at how well that color corrected. I don't know why, but I feel like it looks so good. Like, obviously when I first started putting it on, it looks batshit crazy, right? But like once I get it all going and stuff, like, and I put on my foundation, like the color correcting just does a really good job at covering everything and canceling out all the darkness or the redness I have. So then the other thing that they sent over was the Dragon Beauty. This here is a pink shade and a yellow shade. I actually used the pink shade um, and I found it to work really well for underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this and I'm just going to pop it underneath my eyes. This isn't super new, but um, it is part of Winky Lux's brand. And I still kind of consider them to be more of an indie brand. Um, and this is their Mocha Coffee Bronzer. I do believe there's three shades. The first time I used this, and I talked about this in my video, I didn't know how many shades there were, but I looked at it the other day, and I believe there's three shades. It legit smells like coffee, you guys. Like, it smells so good. Speaking of coffee, I don't remember which one of you guys mentioned it, and I'm sorry, I feel like I should need to remember the name. Um, but I was looking through my comments yesterday and we were talking about candles from my video and you guys were, one of you guys was saying that they have a candle at Bath and Body Works that has a coffee scented one or something like that. And I was like, what? So I'm on the lookout for that. I do have two options for blush. This one here is the Cheek and Cheek to Cheek by IBY and you get two really pretty blushes. I really like this one. This one's more muted and this is more of a baby pink. Um, and then this one here is by Topshop and this is a matte powder blush in the shade Game Changer. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and try this one out. Um, I really like this color though. Let's do the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I really wanna take this one right here called Athena. Oh my gosh, I might just use this color alone. I love that color. There is something about a mustard yellow that I just really enjoy. So you know I'm going to California in, well, when this video goes up, I'll probably already be in California. I think I'm gonna take this palette with me. I'm gonna take a little bit back of Avalon and on a flat definer brush, I'm just gonna pack that right up against the lash line. Anyways, I've been uh, trying to get the kids ready because it's just me and the kids. My husband's staying because he has to work. And so um, he wanted to go too, but he can't go because the week I come back, I come back on the 29th, and then that next day he flies out to Florida, I think, for work. And then that Thursday, we drive out to a wedding in Kansas. So I have to pre-film as much as I can for the two weeks that I'm gone. And then when we come back, I have to either pre-film now, or I have to come back and then like bust my ass and pre-film for that week that we're gone. Because we leave Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I come back Monday. It'll be nice though. I haven't seen my parents in a while. Well, I lied. I just saw my mom not very long ago. Um, but my dad doesn't fly out very often. He's like terrified of planes. So for him to fly out here is like a huge deal. He'd rather drive. Like he would rather drive 24 hours than fly on a plane, which is completely fine. I'm the same way. Utterly terrified of flying. There's just something about a plane, right? That just terrifies the bananas out of me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara. I'll go back in with that Topshop mascara again. I'm not the fan of this, but maybe it'll work better on my lower lash line. All right, so, gosh, I love that palette. Freaking love this palette, you guys. It's so beautiful. What else do we got? 
I do have this one by Estate Beauty. Uh, and this is in the shade Doomy Pearl. I'm not going to apply too much because I still have a pimple right there. So I don't have anything new for the lips, but I figured that I would take one of these. This is the Mattes by Carity, um, and this is in the shade All Night Long. I actually really like that shade. It's not like super overpowering. It's just nice and soft. Like I think it goes really well with this eye look. So I feel like this looks very fall appropriate um, for 90 degree weather today, but I don't care. I really like this eyeshadow palette. So let me know down below what you guys found to be interesting. And if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope to see you guys all my next video. And I hope you guys had a wonderful afternoon and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.